Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lots of Yum For You. Today, we're gonna make a shrimp, a Thai shrimp fried rice. How's that sound? Yummy? Yes, we're gonna make Thai shrimp fried rice today. So, I'm very excited. This dish is going to be delicious. Again, something that we expect from uh, making a Thai dish. And, uh, Thai red chili peppers are optional. So we're gonna dive right into this video and make some deliciousness. Hi everyone, we're diving right into these ingredients and then gonna dive right into the video. So for this video, I mean for this recipe for our Thai shrimp fried rice, we have two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and two large garlic cloves, chopped. And then we have a half of an onion, diced. Three green onions, the bottom part. So, not the top half, but this part of the green onions, Oh, this part right here, chop. And then we also have uh, two eggs. I'm gonna get those out of the fridge right now. Uh, beaten, lightly beaten. And we're gonna, we need uh, three cups of jasmine rice. Which I have my three cups of jasmine rice right here. And because I have a family that likes spice, I've got some Thai red chilies going in right here. Yes. So I just chopped those up. And then for our sauce, we're going to do one option and we're going to follow this, which is um, I'm doing one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce and one and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce. So, and then going to use pepper. To taste okay all right so let's go over to the stove to the wok and get cooking I'm very excited this is a delicious dish oh and I said we're gonna have shrimp and here's our shrimp so I have one pound of shrimp all right let's do it Hi everyone, we are at the stove. I'm getting ready to turn the fire on. I have this big, huge, beautiful wok. I will definitely leave some affiliate links for woks if you, um, so that if you decide you wanna try this, wok cooking is very interesting and fun. And for wooden spoons. So I will leave an affiliate link for wok, wooden spoons, meal prep, bows, definitely are very, very helpful. So right now I have my fire on, more like a medium high. Ooh, look at that. And we're gonna throw and put in the two tablespoons of cooking oil. Here we go. Okay. And as the oil heats up, which is only gonna be a, another, what, 30 seconds, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in my garlic and onions and stir fry them for like 30 seconds. So, here comes the garlic. And the onions. And my red Thai chili that I'm adding, which is optional to give this dish a little spice. We're 
gonna cook this for about a minute. Oh, wow. And now, after a minute, I'm gonna throw in our shrimp. There we go. And I'm also gonna throw in the green onion. And we're gonna cook this for at least a minute. I'll tell you, this is amazing. I love to uh, cook in the wok. I love to cook with flavors. Lots of good flavors in this. cooking it a little bit. I'm going to push everything to one side and I'm going to throw in my egg and scramble my egg. So the egg's already lightly beaten. Now just pour it in the pan right there off to the side. that fire up. Look at that egg cooking. Oh wow. There we go. Egg's almost ready. Don't worry about getting shrimp and everything into the egg. Remember these flavors already got to be mixed together. And don't worry if it's not cooked all the way through because it's going to cook all the way through as we get ready to put our rice in. There we go. Okay, now it's time to throw the sauce in. And the rice. Here we go. Here's the rice. Let me break this rice up. There we go. Okay, we got the rice in and get ready to put in the sauce as well. Here's our soy sauce. And here's the oyster sauce. But I'm gonna have to get this spatula to get it all out. There we go. Now it's time to get moving. Get all these sauces moved around. And everything coated with the sauce. Oh wow, this is a quick and easy dish. It does not take too long to whip this dish up. Wow, this is delicious. This is a, a great dish too. If when you make this dish, you want to make sure that you don't have anyone who is uh, 
Who doesn't like shrimp? I try to make sure when I make, if I make this for a party, I'll do some, I'll do half shrimp, and then I'll make another pan of one that's, you know, chicken. The chicken seems to be a more common flavor for a lot of people. Wow, this looks really good. Okay. And now, we throw in the green part, chopped up, the green part of the green onion. We throw on the green part. There we go. Here's the green part, mix that in. And also we put in a little bit of pepper. Black pepper, it's up to you. Put a little black pepper in here. You can put a little bit to taste. I would say like maybe just half of a tablespoon. You definitely want to put it in here with something that you know you can sprinkle it with. You don't want to just dump the spoon and you want to actually shake it around on here. Mm. That was fast, so here we go. Thai shrimp fried rice. And we are finished. There we go. And there it is. So, I will see you guys in the tasting area so that we can taste this deliciousness. I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate this because I actually uh, made this deliciousness for myself and my Airbnb guests tonight. I'm hoping that I can get them on film. Two handsome guys from Seattle. They're very handsome. Uh, I'm old enough to be their mother. So anyway, um, let me uh, get down to it. I'm gonna drop the camera right quick so you can see how I'm gonna plate this and how you can plate your food so easily and make it look so pretty just for the family. All right, here we go. Let's dive right into this. What I'm into is, oh, I don't need to drop the camera. You can see me. So I put the rice in here in this little cup. I turn my plate over and look at that. Beautiful, right? And then I have my veggies of which I just kind of take my veggies and put them nicely right here on one side. I have broccoli tonight, which looks very nice. And then I put on some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, just to give it some color. And there we go, folks. Plate it very nicely. And then again with the green onions, just to give it, there we go. Beautiful. And there we have it. Thai shrimp fried rice with fresh tomatoes, which is a delicious side, and steamed broccoli. Nothing on the broccoli, no butter, nothing. Now, let's dig into this deliciousness, and I am ready to do my taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Deliciousness. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, get the bell notification. I'm trying to put out videos about three to five times a week. This is delicious. You gotta try it. Quick and easy, Thai. Trip Thai fried rice, and yes, I'm still cooking with these nails. So definitely look forward to making another dish for you folks. And you guys join me. I put the uh, ingredients in the description box. Okay, bye for now.